All right, a golf association requires golf balls have a diameter that is 1.68 inches. To determine if golf balls conform to the standards, a random sample of golf balls was selected. Their diameter are shown in the table. Um, let's take a look at this sample table data. Okay, so we have 12 golf balls measured. Let's bring this into StatCrunch where we can actually work with it. Bring this smaller. Okay. Um, because the sample size is small, the engineer must verify that the diameter is normally distributed and the sample does not contain any outliers. The normal probability plot and box plot are shown below. Let's look at those to answer this first pr problem. This is a normal probability plot and a box plot. Um, now the box plot doesn't seem doesn't indicate any outliers. Uh, it's a skewed distribution for sure. Uh, but uh, whether or not there's anything that is going to cause us alarm in the normal probability plot, all of the the data points are within the bands here. Let's just say this is fine as far. I would say that the conditions are fine. We, we There's no reason to assume that the distribution it's coming from is not normal. So let's just say, uh, yes, that's fine. What we want to do is, is do this hypothesis test. Do the golf balls conform to the standards? Conduct a hypothesis test using the p-value approach. So the null hypothesis is, is that the population mean equals 1.68. The alternative is um, that the golf balls, the mean width, uh, does not equal 1.68. If it does, if it's higher or lower, that means they don't doesn't conform to the standards. So that's why we're choosing a two-tailed test for this problem. Let's get a test statistic. So let's move over to StatCrunch, and under the Stat menu, we'll do a t-stat one sample with data. We have the data in our column and we want to do a hypothesis test. Let's just set the null 1.68 versus not equal to 1.68. And that's it. Click compute and we get our info. We have a T stat of 0 0.808. Take two decimal places. That's 0 0.81. And the P value, it's right here, 0.436. Do we reject at an alpha level of 0 0.01? Um, <clears throat> well, clearly the p-value is higher than that. Uh, so in, whenever the p-value is greater than your alpha level, we do not reject. So there is not sufficient evidence to conclude the golf balls do not conform. This evidence is inconclusive. We can't reject the null hypothesis. So for now on, we still have to assume that these golf balls are in conformity with the standards. That's that.